Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. That guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Oh, I forgot to hit send. Better late than never. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? I should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home.
I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. There it is. It feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, Dying thing? <laughs> Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. It's all a lie. It's a stinking awful lie. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. 
The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> you know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Anyone? How did I get here?
working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that?
Service Console Upsilon 3, including Pilot Seed activated. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Data. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Security cipher updated.
Ah! What was that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, can you hear me?
What is... What, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, so, ah, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here.
Oh God, he's dead? He's dead. Did he get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Oh. Are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. 
It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I, I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clay memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. Okay? Hello? Can you hear me? Hey. Can you hear me? Hey.
concealed everything, everything from the fans to the cops. If anyone else is just so afraid of you again, they're gonna have a hell of a Hey, are you there? I found the domed ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? <laughs> Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling me. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Shh. 
Shit! 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 Where do I... Where did I... Oh, fuck!